Hello and welcome to Digital Media Reporting and Writing Journalism MO2. I'm Professor Kelsey Stewart and this is just a quick run through our module. So first off you're going to get your home page when you click on home. Here's our um, the starting of our home page. You have a welcome video about the department in regards to Journalism MO2 and then we have some buttons here. So you're going to click start here for our first module. You're going to hit connect professor and that's how you can get a hold of me as well as my um, office um, meeting times and so forth. And then the current module will send you to the module that we are working on for that week. So obviously for week one, we will be, our current module will be start here and then it'll go to week one. So let's select start here. So here we have start here module. We're gonna go to the first tab which is Journalism MO2 Welcome Video. This is another welcome video just introducing you to the course, um, as well as giving the course description. We have the video transcript below for those that need it. We also have uh, the course modules, objectives, and student learning outcomes attached. So these are all hyperlinked to the actual um, module that we're working on. So if you connect this, it'll give you to week one, module one. Uh, the format of, the, of these modules are up for um, transition just depending on current events and what type of coverage we're looking at. So right now we have up till week, um, module one is attached to week one, module two is attached to week two, and so forth. So this will go down. Here is our syllabus. So on our syllabus, we have our key dates listed right here. This is where the class starts, the last day to drop, last day to add, our final, which is hyperlinked to our final schedule for that semester. We also have our division office contacts, so you can reach uh, the student business office uh, for the um, uh, arts, media, and communication studies division, as well as Canvas student support, uh, the dean and department chair, emails and numbers. We have a short description, again, about the course. We have a list of our uh, textbooks that we will be using throughout the course, as well as our course goals. Now here we have our course format. Our course format is important to remember. There's really only two, two items to remember. One, everything is due Sundays at midnight. That does not change. I do not accept late work unless there's extenuating circumstances. Uh, we also meet once a week on Wednesday mornings. From uh, For this class, we meet 1045 to 1115. Those are 30-minute virtual class discussion meetings. I understand a lot of you will not be able to make those due to work or schedules or other courses. And we, I talk about that where you have an option to write a one-page summary for those of you that cannot make the Wednesday meeting, morning meeting. So they will be recorded and you write a one-page summary that you post in our weekly class discussion. Uh, we have a selection of topics that we will go through. These, again, can change dependent on the current events that we're covering and what type of training um, I justify you guys will need in order to cover them. We also have our class procedures, just that you have to be up to date. Um, you need to be in tune kind of with the structure of the course in order to be able to make the field assignments and so forth. We have the equipment. You will need a smartphone or lap laptop. Again, I do not accept late work. Here is the instructor feedback. Each assignment offers a grading rubric that is located on the bottom of the assignment that will list what is expected in order to receive full credit. The instructor feedback can be found on all assignments in the attached text box. I will be um, offering insight or um, cer certain grading um, options in regards to your main projects. Oftentimes I will give um, just a varied amount of feedback in regards to just weekly assignments. A lot of times too I will address it in our on our weekly class meetings if there was a lot of mistakes on one um, that everyone had in common or if there were struggles on some sort I will address those in those weekly meetings as well. Uh, we have our grading here and our class etiquette. Uh, we also talk about false attribution which we definitely don't want to do. Um, we have the smoking policy which we are a non-smoking campus <clears throat> diversity. This is big in journalism. Our main goal is to give a voice to the voiceless, so we want to make sure that we are including everyone as we gather sources and interviews for our projects. 
students with disabilities who need accommodations, um, we are encouraged to contact me as well as Access. I want to make sure that this course is accessible for everybody. Title IX and Sexual Misconduct, that is actually the dean, that is the department dean of this division, that's Monica Garcia, and so you can reach her through her email. Here's again a repeat of Canvas tech support and also a link to the Learning Center, which offers tutoring um, that's free and highly advised. Uh, the last little tidbit in regards to our grading, subjects are introduced roughly th three weeks into the course, and they're due about six weeks into the course, the first project. After that, every two weeks you will get a project. So there's a total of three projects. Week uh, six, you will uh, turn in your first project. Week eight and week 12, depending on the length of the course roughly, is when you will turn in the next projects. Again, those will be given to you. You'll have ample time um, to get those projects in. They are, they're the projects that involve field reporting. So the first project is covering a community event and you will go to a local community event, cover it like a reporter. There are assignments that will set you up so that you are ready for that, that main project as well. So it'll grow with the course.